All right, so we are going to take the next approximately an hour here to go through some uh, video analysis sessions. Now, as always, what I've done is I've picked out kind of the squeaky wheels of the group here. So people who have emailed me two, three, four times over the past couple days looking for video analysis, uh, video analysis sessions that are extremely interesting or maybe don't have uh, things that we've talked about in the past. If you are waiting for a video analysis, guys, just look at the other ones that I've done um, and learn from those and then take a look at your own video and see how you can improve. Don't wait to hear from me. Trust yourself a little bit. So I've got a backlog of about 30 of these that I'm just not going to be able to get to. Everybody sends me a video analysis saying I want a free one. And they're literally the last thing that I do during my day if I have time is video analysis. So I just spent the past five hours working. It's just about 1 p.m. here Eastern. I just spent the, since 7 o'clock, 7.30 working. Um, and then I've got another six hours to go here. Uh, actually, I'm not going to get out of the gym till about 8.30 tonight. So a lot of work to get done here. As always, my fat bulldog George is snoring and walking around, so you're going to hear him tapping on the ground, tapping his little toes all over the place. Uh, but let's get through this. So here we have Angelo. So Angelo's dad had let me know that he has been throwing shot for quite a while, and they moved into rotational um, a couple years ago. I think they said about three or four years ago. So let's take a look at this in real time and kind of uh, – see what we're doing here just in full speed and then we'll break it down a little bit so let's go Whoop, a little bit of a lag there but let's go back here and take a look and again guys if you're going to send videos to me uh just email them to me just make sure they're a good enough file format where i can see let's see now when i watch this it looks very kind of up and down it looks very up and down it looks very jumpy and it looks like he's crisscrossing his feet a lot. Uh, it's a great looking throw, but when I start to see kind of feet going up and down and kind of uh, legs and feet getting crossed and kind of getting caught up at the end, um, that's where I want to put my focus here. So let's take a look and see what's going on here kind of in frame by frame analysis. So with Angelo, here's what we got. I like how he gets low. You can see he stands up a little bit on the right, which I'm not a huge fan of. I want people just to stay low. He gets back down low in the middle. It's pretty low on the left. It's a tough angle to see, but it looks like he is getting lower on the left. Here comes George, my dog. Doing a pretty good job here. Now, I'd like to see him get around that left a little bit better. You can see here, he looks like he's leading with his shoulder into the throw instead of actually pivoting and getting around his left side. He's going to, yeah, this is where that crisscross starts to happen. So you can see here, he's not getting around that left. Hey, fat boy. He's not getting around that left. He's basically just kind of dumping that left shoulder and trying to run. And you can see how high up in the air his foot goes. So instead of getting around the left and keeping the foot lower to the ground, he's kind of got that lift and kick thing going on where he lifts the foot up and then kicks it down the middle. So keep that right foot lower to the ground. And you can see here he goes up to the middle. That right foot kind of goes from up to down to up. The left foot is way too high in the air as well. That's that up and down kind of motion that I was seeing in the full speed. So the left foot is all the way up here by his butt. We got to keep the knees together and the toe to the heel. So keep everything tight uh, in that mirror turn or in that half turn kind of position. So he does a good job keeping the left arm back. So this is a great position I like to see. Left toe has touched down near the toe board, and we've got the left arm nice and long. Weight is back, eyes are back, chest is back, shot is back. That's good. You can see it doesn't look like he's doing a good job of grounding that left foot. This is probably going to be a jump. 
Yep. Comes off the ground, so he loses connection with the ground. I mean, he's like two feet off the ground. <laughs> What's that left foot going? <laughs> so he's way off the ground. Holy cow. Yeah, we've got to try to get the up and down out of this throw. And I mean with the feet and his lower body, man. He is jumping through this throw. So get this right foot lower. Let him rotate around this left. Don't cut yourself off here. So reach with this left. He should be trying to reach out and grab the hat off this official's head. So reach. Don't slap the arm this way down the left sector. Reach. Reach out to the left. Get weight on that left. That way he can keep the right foot low and go around the left. Not this lift and kick kind of thing. Okay? Secondly, left foot out of the back needs to stay low. Okay? Shorten the racetrack. That left foot can only go so fast. So if you want it to get there earlier, shorten the racetrack. Make it go a shorter distance. So bring the knees together and bring the toe to the heel. One of the coaches at my overnight camp always says, kind of like Dorothy, click the heels. Now, of course, my dog's drinking water. Interrupts everything. But look how high the foot goes. The foot goes up, and then the foot's going to have to come down. See how long that takes? Imagine if it was just low to the ground. It would just be boom, boom, and it would be there. And then from here, I can't believe my dog's doing this. Then from here, keep the feet on the ground as you throw. Don't jump and throw. So you're jumping two feet up in the air here. So again, up and downs and ups and downs and all the ups and downs with the feet. Keep those feet closer to the ground. Okay, make it a more efficient throw. So low right foot without the kick. Low left foot without the kick. Keep the feet low and work the circle. Don't jump and throw. Work the circle. Keep your connection with the ground. Keep your connection with the circle and put more force into the throw. Don't just jump and throw. Think about pushing the earth down as you throw. But overall, really solid looking throw, really good looking throw. The mechanics are there. You're just going to clean it up and make it a little bit more efficient.